Good evening, Lincrest families, and welcome to our 2021-2022 Back to School Night. We are conducting our Back to School Night virtually this year for the health and safety of our students and staff. So although we can't be all together in person, we hope that this provides an opportunity for more than one of you in the family to attend our Back to School Night and hear all about all of the wonderful things that your children will be a part of this school year. We're very excited to have our students back in person uh, for full days, enjoying their lunch and recess together, um, and really having some additional opportunities that unfortunately we weren't able to provide last year. So it feels so much more like a normal school year already. Um, so I just have a few things to share. Um, thank you for joining us this evening. First and foremost, you are such a special part of this team in educating your child. And so we just thank you for being involved and I encourage you to stay involved all year long um, as best you can. Our PTO has provided some slides for you to look over and think about some opportunities that you may want to take part in from the PTO so that you can be an active participant in your child's school year. Um, that's the link below the one that you use to access this video here with some information from our PTO. So um, we are a school of approximately 205 students in grades K through four. Um, we are just so happy to have um, all of our students with us in two different sections from each homeroom, um, two kindergarten classes, two first grade classes, two second grade classes. Uh, we also have a self-contained first and second grade class and our two third grade and two fourth grade classes. So we're a small school, we're the smallest school in Fairlawn, but I always say that although we're small, we um, have a lot of strength in our little tiny school and it's really a nice family feel to our hallways um, and our school because our teachers all know all of our students and we get to know all of our families really well and provide a very personal experience for you and for your children. So this year's school theme is teamwork. Um, you'll notice that that theme is kind of radiating down our hallways on our bulletin boards and things like that. Um, we call ourselves the Lincrest Stars, and our theme for the year is that working as a team, we can achieve more than we can when we are alone. Um, and so that theme will kind of be apparent in our Bright Star Behavior Assemblies, which is a monthly character ed assembly that we conduct, and um, through some of our PTO events as well. So we're going to have a lot of fun with that. This year we have three school goals. The first one focuses on diversity and inclusion. Um, one of our goals is to bring more diversity into our classroom libraries so that students can see themselves in the books that they are selecting off their classroom library shelves. We're so fortunate to be part of a community that is truly so diverse and we celebrate that. And so um, one of the, the areas that we are acknowledging in need of some additional resources is our classroom library. So we are starting there. Um, our second goal is around our students' mental health and our staff, the mental health of our staff, um, because we recognize that the pandemic has left people uh, feeling sort of anxious in this time. And certainly our children all need the uh, social emotional support so we will continue with our Sanford Harmony Social Emotional Learning Program. Um, we'll continue our partnership with Care Plus, and we will be able to um, really address mindfulness and sort of overall mental health for our students and our staff this year. Our last goal has to do with addressing any learning gaps or um, any learning deficits that may have occurred post pandemic. And we want to really be able to address those needs as teachers. And so um, teachers will be working with small groups of students to enrich our high learners and meet our um, grade level learners and really remediate for some of those students that may have some learning gaps. Um, so we're looking forward to focusing our professional development as teachers and as a school in those three areas. And I will have more information to share with you throughout the year um, in regards to our school goals. Our character education program remains very strong at Lincrest. We have our Bright Star Behavior Assemblies monthly, which focus on a character trait each month. This month, we're focused on responsibility. And in the month of October, we'll be focused on respect. Coming up in October, we have 
our week of respect, which is a nationally recognized week um, where our assemblies will focus on how can I show respect and what does that look like when I respect myself and respect others. Um, and we always end our week of respect with a huge school-wide respect rally. We have some other fun activities sponsored by the PTO that week. Um, and so we're looking forward to that, but we're always looking for good character and promoting that um, around our school. On Fridays, we give out Golden Spirit Awards where I announce um, students' names over the loudspeaker and specifically tell the children what the children have done to earn a Golden Spirit Award. And we make a big deal about it and students come down to my office for a small prize. So um, we continue to focus on working on enriching our students' character as well as the academics. Um, they kind of go hand in hand throughout the school year. Attendance, it's really important that your child attend when they are feeling well and um, we, get, we get as many days in as we can over the 180 school days throughout the year. Please know that the only excused absences are for religious observances. Um, and so you wanna make sure that if your child is out for religious observance, please call the office or indicate it in Genesis so that it's marked appropriately. Um, and of course, if your child is not feeling well, you wanna communicate that with the school as well. So um, Nurse Brinson can be of the support to you and your family um, as some of us are being challenged throughout the pandemic, um, but we're here for you for that as well. Um, I wanted to just point out that weekly you will receive uh, the Lincrest School Scoop from me. It's a weekly newsletter that will include um, details about how the week went, what the week looks like coming ahead, any important information you need, um, fundraising opportunities from the PTO, spirit days, all kinds of things. Um, and I try to give some pictures and things so that you can get a feel for what the week was like at Lincrest. And I always share upcoming events in there as well so you can mark your calendars. Um, our PTO is very strong. I thank the PTO for the hard work they do, um, but they can't do it alone. They need additional members. So please consider joining the PTO. We always say, it doesn't matter if you help out with one small thing um, throughout the year, it's all appreciated because just like our theme for the school is teamwork, the PTO, it, it's a theme throughout the PTO as well. We need your help. Uh, we raise a tremendous amount of money that really goes directly to the children and supporting the programs and assemblies and things um, that, that really make this school such a great place to be. The first meeting is on October 14th at 7.30. It will be in person. We'll probably also hold it on Zoom for anyone that's unable to attend in person. And we look forward to having you there. As always, if there is anything that I can do to better support your child throughout their experience here at Lincrest, please contact me directly. You can call the school, um, you can email, whatever the best way for me to get in touch with you, you just let me know. Um, but we are truly a team here working together to make your child's years at Lincrest very special. We know how important their elementary years are and um, we just wanna make them the best that we can. So if anything should occur that doesn't make sense to you or you have questions or concerns, I really encourage you to reach out. Um, I'm, I have an open door policy. I believe in communicating with families. Um, and so I'm here for you just as much as I'm here for your children and I'm here for the staff. I hope you enjoy back to school night and thank you for being here and really taking this first step in your child's school year here at Lincrest. Have a great night.